called it. It's the MID7015. And what we want to do is to take the cover off so we can unbrick the thing. So, so flip it over onto the back side and you can start taking it apart on this side first because you have the buttons and the connections and so forth. So what I'm using is a small tweaker, flat edge screwdriver and another flat edge with a, a water edge which is actually an exacto knife. It works pretty good. I'll start with the corner because that usually seems to be about the easiest place to start at. You just want to push that screwdriver down in there and pull you want to pull the side out. You want to pull the side away from the body which unlatches the plastic tabs. So what I'll use is the screwdriver and the exacto knife to give it a little start. We'll start right above where the buttons are. Once you see a little bit of an edge coming loose, you might do a little damage. Might be a little bit of damage to it, but very minimal if you're very careful. There we go. We got an edge going on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of pull and twist, work my way out a little bit. There we go. It's starting to come loose. And you can lift up a little. And then work your screwdriver down the edge. You'll notice it's going to come apart pretty easy. And be very careful not to break the plastic. It's very thin there. <clears throat> That's the reason why I start on this end because the plastic's more flexible. Okay, if you can see, I don't know if I can bring it close enough to the camera, you'll see that it's already come apart just a little bit. And if you keep pulling the edge away from the center of the back of the pad, you'll notice it'll come up very nicely. And just keep working your way around and be very careful not to damage anything. Okay. I'm working the back side now. Okay, you can you can see there's a tab here and there's a tab hole here and they work their way all the way down the side and that's why you have to to pull the plastic away from the the body of the tablet. You don't want to force it because you'll break the tabs and you won't be able to put it back together. And I got pretty much most of it taken apart here. Alrighty. There, I got it all taken apart. And here's what the next step we got to do is to remove the red battery power supply to the motherboard this is the motherboard and right here is the red battery connector okay here's a close-up of the here's the red battery connector that we want to unsolder so what I'll do is I'll get my screwdriver to help lift it up we don't want to overheat the, uh, we don't want to overheat it, so I'm blocking the light. <laughs> so let's see if I can get a good. There we go. Let's try that. And here's where we want to unsolder the red wire here. And it's I'm really not doing too good of a job. There we go. And it's very important that uh, it's important that you don't let this touch any part that red wire here any part of the motherboard so you may want to put a little piece of tape on the end of that and uh, push it aside um, so I'll push it aside right now Okay, we should have our USB connection ready, already connected to the computer, and our 5 volt power supply ready to plug in. 
because we don't have a battery anymore and uh, we don't want to rely on the battery as a power source at this point. We also need to have the F WDN software running and of course you've already had the drivers installed for Windows and the necessary programs and take a look here it is right here this is the uh, program it's a blank screen right now because nothing been, has been detected yet and what we're what we'll do here is uh, we're gonna have to jump a couple pins on the uh, chip because I have right now I have it on my uh, TV screen here I got the monitor on my screen of what I'm doing so I have a better close look but here's the chip that we're looking for it's this chip right here and if we have a closer look if, if my uh, camera will let me do it I can zoom in possibly I maybe I can't there's a number and the number of that chip is located right here. Uh, it's the 29F32G08CBABA. And what we'll need to do is jump two pins. And it'll be pin number seven and pin number eight. And while we jump those pins, we are going to have to. Uh, take a look here. I got my list here. Um, yeah, keep the pins shorted, and we have to press and hold the power button and hold it for about five seconds, and then we can remove the short and let go of the power button. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, I have um, jumper number seven and number eight uh, contacted. I got them jumpered with the edge of my large exacto and somehow I'm going to try and plug this <laughs> power supply in oops I kind of moved it let's see here let's try to get it plugged in and as I plug it in I'm going to turn the power button on and in five seconds my FDWN uh, software should detect and that's it okay I've pulled up Windows device manager and I can see telechips right here is on the screen which means the tablet is now unbricked and at this point we can start putting some software into it Okay, now my FWDN software also uh, came up with a window saying that there's an error, no boot file, and also open boot error, which is normal. That's fine. That means now we are connected and there's communication with this tablet. So the next step is uh, installing the new software and, and uh, getting the tablet running. Okay, at this point here, at this point here, um, you can decide to, if you want, to solder this red wire back onto the motherboard and snap the back panel back on. Or, what I'm going to do, in case it doesn't work, I can do it again. Um, I can re-jump pin number 7 and number 8 and unbrick it in case my software doesn't work the first time. I can have the back all reopened and unsoldered but it must we must leave this power supply on if it doesn't stay on or if it unplugs while you're in the middle of flashing it then you have to start all over again so rather than put the whole piece back together and hope it works I'm going to install the software now <laughs> 